This little fuzzy creature's a rambutan, and they come from Southeast Asia, and they won't bite. But you know what? I bite them. <coughs> oh, I love rambutan. Seriously, rambutan. It's absolutely a fantastic fruit. It looks pretty strange, red and hairy, but inside is this lovely white flesh, very similar to a lychee. In fact, some of the fruits I'm gonna show you are related to the lychee, and you've got a little nut on the inside, but you've got this delicate fruit that is so tasty. Very easy, just cut them around the outside, and they actually pop right out. So you can actually take them and serve them like this to your guests, so it looks quite attractive. If you miss the season this year, go buy a can of them just to try them because they're really worth trying. Another fruit that's similar is a longan, or longan as it's spelled, pronounced a little bit different, and this is in a little shell. Here's what they look like whole. Again, related to the lychee, and very similar in taste. This one is a little bit smokier in flavor, got a pip on the inside, very juicy. And again, you can buy this in place of lychee and use it just like lychee nut in cans if you can't get it fresh in season. Now there's another beautiful fruit here that's one of my favorite, and that is the mangosteen. The mangosteen is the queen of tropical fruit, and I absolutely love and adore this fruit. Uh, it can be a little bit hit and miss sometimes as far as how healthy they are on the inside, because you don't know till you open them. They've got a hard outside that's purple, and it's almost like cork. And what I normally do is I grab them in my hand, and I give them a squeeze. And what you'll do is that'll split them open, and then you can basically pop it open like this. Ooh, we're making a bit of a mess. Uh, uh, oops, well, that's not working too well, but <laughs> when you do it right, this is what you get on the inside, this lovely white tender fruit. Now there's little seeds in there. The bigger they are, usually the less seeds there are. And it's, it's very juicy, look at that. The juice is just dripping out. Mmm, mmm, mmm. There's a little pip in there but this is so juicy. You get past this corky exterior and you've got the most incredible fruit. That's why the mangosteen is called the queen of Asian fruit. And just be, uh, keep in mind when you're actually peeling this or trying to separate it, that it can sometimes leave a bit of a stain on your fingers. So there's some delicious fruit to try. And there's some others we should look at. Here's another one that's becoming common in Asia, and that's the custard apple, known as the cherimoya. It actually originates in Peru, but now it's very common in Southeast Asia. And again, it's very simple, just breaks apart with your hand using the two sections and a very delicate, creamy texture. Mm. There's some pips in it, but just separate those. And this is also used in ice cream, cherimoya ice cream or custard apple ice cream, the other name for it, delicious fruit. And one other I'm just gonna show you, which is a unique one, is the rose, um, rose apple. And this one comes basically in a green or it's red, rose color obviously. And what you do is just cut this. It's a sort of a fruity tasting like an, between an apple and a pear, and it's got a bit more of an acidic bite. So this one you just wash it and then eat it whole and just watch out for any pips in it. So there's all sorts of wonderful Asian fruit that down at the market for you to try. If you're not sure what it is, ask the vendor about it and give it a try. Spice up your life and try something different in the way of Asian fruit. For Shaw TV, I'm Spicy Steve. <laughs> For recipes and information on cooking classes, visit SpicySteve.com.